a life with dignity not all that glitters is gold not all that is white as milk not all people who wear saffron clothes are sages these age old sayings hold true even now especially the last one we see a lot of people wearing saffron clothes but not all of them are sanyasis in the true sense of the word a sanyasi is one who guides his followers on the right path recently i attended the inaugural function of a home for destitute women in mysore in most cases the women were there because they were either harassed by their in-laws or tortured by drunken husbands owing to their socio-economic conditions even the parents of the victims were unable to take them in and care for their hapless children there had also been instances when young girls lured by romance had run away from their homes and had been deserted by their lovers after the honeymoon these girls usually did not dare return to their parents the saying that success has many fathers but failure has none is true indeed we get to see only the distressed women and the children while the main cause of their problems remains hidden in the background so the victims cannot be blamed together often it is circumstances that force them into such drudgery these women and girls need to be psychologically strong and determined to face difficulties with courage and go on with their lives the more unfortunate ones may get caught in the ugly network of commercial sex or other unlawful activities either knowingly or unknowingly it is nice to respect or reward people who work for such women more importantly it is also necessary to lend a helping hand to those who have stumbled or lost their way do we have such a system there are very few institutions where such people are given shelter and efforts made to rehabilitate them in such institutions women are taught how to earn a livelihood so that they can live with dignity in mysore the first person who came up with the idea to open such an institution was not someone who had political powers or wanted fame he is the head of the sutur math the swamiji is well read and felt the need to help the downtrodden and destitute having truly understood the meaning of compassion he could have led a quiet life performing his religious duties and looking after his own mutt but he thought of something different the swami ji gave a donation worth rupees 1 crore in the form of 1 and 1/2 acres of land belonging to his mutt he showed the true nature of a leader exemplary in his behavior it is a matter to be highlighted that he did all this without any expectation of a return acharya devo bhava say our ancestors implying that the guru or the teacher is equal to god how truly the actions of the swamiji of the sutur math reflect this saying